Good morning, everybody. I am going to start a new section on my page called Sinking No Longer. My specific audience, though anyone is welcome to listen, is for women who are really struggling to find time to be in the Word of God. Having a Hebrew Roots uh, geared channel regarding deception uh, in this particular movement, helping family members who have lost loved ones to it, uh, helping those of you who have come out of it or walked it, it's, it can be a, a long road um, to recovering from that. And so that's my main heart and goal. However, in the comments sometimes that are made about uh, being in our word, being in the word of God, being um, having it be important and vital, and how people who fall into deception, if they would just get in the word and know the word, uh, they wouldn't fall in. So one, I think that encouragement to be in the word of God is great. I hope that encouragement in the comments continues. It is absolutely vital to be in the word of God. Uh, it, it's, it's breath, it's water, it's food. We need it. But I also, in that encouragement, don't want anyone to feel judged if they're in a particular situation. And I would understand that. So first of all, I'm a mother. I have had two children. And there are days, especially with infants and after giving birth, months even, where you are barely able to have food, water, and sleep yourself. And so diving into Leviticus, <laughs> um, may not be something um, that is realistic or practical for you. You barely have time to sleep and care for yourself because you're caring for this sweet little baby. Uh, maybe you're a new Christian and you have God has called you to him and you have given your life to him right smack in the middle of college and you're young and you're struggling. Maybe you didn't have um, someone uh, just... You know, bless you and, and hand you over a college education. Maybe you are working night and day and studying and trying to sleep and you're on your own. Maybe you're a single mom. Maybe you're a single dad. I mean, any of us can be in a season of life where we can barely take care of ourselves and we may even have dependents who are depending on us. And it's all we can do to get a few hours sleep and have a drink of water. And I don't want you to feel judged when... Um, when others are saying you need to be in the word, because yes, we do, but there are seasons. And so sinking no longer is going to be five minutes or less going through the Bible. We're going to start in Genesis and we're just going to keep going all the way through, but we're not going to read, <laughs> we're not going to read the whole Bible in five minute increments. I don't know how long that would take, but I want to pour into you knowledge that I didn't have in scripture, that I needed to ground me in my faith. Um, now, was I living for Christ and, and producing fruit and loving my neighbor and, and loving my family? Yes, Christ is enough for me. He is enough for me. His salvation is sufficient. His grace is sufficient for me. But it is important to know where we came from. It's important to know the entire story. It's important to know who we are and where we came from and why, so that our identity is solid in Christ. So what I plan to do is start in Genesis and read clips of the Bible all the way through, specific to the story. So I will read about four minutes of scripture and then one minute of practical application. How can this encourage us today? What can we do with this right now? I am going to make a bold statement here, uh, but this is truth. Women do not need one more self-help book. We do not need one more emotionally charged conference with this much scripture and about this much hype, music, tear jerkers, uh, getting us all hyped up and then going home and we're really left with nothing more than what we went with because if we don't have Jesus Christ, if we aren't growing in him, if we aren't learning how to abide in him, if we aren't in his word or listening to the word or in prayer, that's our only source of help. That is our only source of change. If we are not hearing the word of God and Jesus Christ preached soundly and practically, we aren't going to be content, ladies, we're not. Nothing in this life 
is going to fulfill us and no amount of conferences or books are going to fulfill the gap and the need we have for Jesus Christ alone to fill us up to the brim. Will we have hard days? Oh, yes. There's no promise of a perfect life here. There is promise of eternity with Christ and there's a promise of help when we're in trouble. There is a promise that he will not leave us or forsake us when we are in trouble. That is the promise. He is with us and we will have eternal life with him. But we need him. We need him. We need the Holy Spirit, which is given to us upon repentance and belief. And we need to be reading the scripture so that when we believe we're being led by the Spirit, we can compare that to scripture and make sure we're not being led astray. Is the Holy Spirit within us enough? Yes, some people don't have the word of God, and I understand that. But when we have the scriptures in our hands to read, that is key because we can easily be led astray. You know, the, the voice of the enemy mimics the voice of our shepherd. And so we want to be in the word and know the word of God so we can compare where we're feeling led with the word of God because we know that the Holy Spirit gives us a desire to be in Christ. He leads us, he pulls us, guides us in truth. And we can read that truth in scripture and, and stay aligned and keep ourselves aligned uh, with the Holy Spirit in us in the word in our hand. So if you're in a season of desperation and, and you just cannot focus, you're not awake enough to read, you're trying to get through the day, you're taking care of others, as soon as you have the, the ability at all to put reading the Bible in your day as you would take a drink of water or eat a meal, do it. But there's grace. Ladies, there are seasons we can barely do it ourselves for ourselves. And I get that. And there's not judgment there. There is mercy and there is grace. So tune in and let's walk through this together. Solidify our identity in Christ. Know where we came from and have a, a, a strong and hopeful future. Hey ladies, as I was editing this video, which I'm in the process of doing right now to keep it at five minutes, and I actually, <laughs> for this particular video, I'm gonna try, I don't know that I'm gonna make it. Uh, I did want to say that when I referenced uh, self-help books and um, women's conferences, I am in no way putting all of them into one category. There are wonderful speakers out there. There are wonderful books that, that lead us to Christ in motherhood and in, in being wives in navigating life. So please don't think I am putting those all in one lump sum. I am not. But what I'm saying is be careful with your resources, including my channel. Please do be careful because it is only Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone who fulfills us. We are going to be left uh, with our bank accounts a lot lower uh, and still feeling empty when we continue to seek resources that throw in just a little bit of Jesus and a whole bunch of pretty much, I'm going to say, empty advice and emotional encouragement um, without Jesus Christ fulfilling us, without abiding in him and being in his word and staying in step with the spirit, uh, we're going to continue to be discontent, dissatisfied, just depressed. We're going to have anxiety. Um, and then we're going to keep turning to one book after another book and another conference after another conference seeking who is already right here. So just keep that in mind.